Hi guys, Jess here again from the Scrappy Sisters. So this is the third video I've got for you and this is again going back to my August kit and I had decided that this was the last layout I was going to do with my August kit and I was determined to use up as much as I possibly could. So it actually was quite a quick and easy layout because I didn't have that much left. I was basically done. The embellishments there I'm just sort of sorting out in that plastic container there all I've got left and then the bits of paper you can see that's all I've got left as well. So I had sort of awkward shapes. I had a few triangle shapes but um, I haven't shown a video of it but I've already done a layout with quite a few of those sort of long triangle shapes so this time I decided I would go with um, the branding strips because I saw those branding strips and thought oh that's a cute idea I might see if I can use those up so I ended up cutting a whole bunch of rectangles out of um, all the scrap bits of paper and I cut as many as I could and different thicknesses different lengths and got those all organized to make a little picture of me at the hairdresser because the kit also had a um, wood veneer that said hashtag me time I'm like this is perfect it's the first time I've been to the hairdresser in I could not tell you how long since I've had my little man and so I was really excited to finally get a little bit of me time touch up the hair have myself feeling pretty again um, instead of feeling like a bedraggled mum I could feel a little bit like a Stepford mum for a little minute there so as I said, I cut out a whole bunch of rectangles and got all of those ready. And then I decided there wasn't long enough ones, so I cut a few more really long ones um, from that diagonal piece there as well. And as I said, some long, some thin ones, some thick ones, some long ones. And I'm going to do um, a little bit of a crisscross effect or I suppose a bit of a weaving effect but I don't actually weave them because I was going to but it was harder to stick them down and then I realized that when you put the photo over top you can't tell whether they're weaved or not weaved so doesn't matter I can tell you that I weaved them and you can't tell because you can't see it anyway so yeah just um, cutting all those up and getting those ready trying to make them sort of straight because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I don't like um, having one thick end and one thin skinny end so just getting those all ready and once I'd done that and I sort of um, straightened off the ends as well because I didn't want those um, too wobbly I actually realized later that it might have looked cute to deliberately put them on quite a sharp angle or on a bit of a point but I didn't do that I cut them all straight and I was happy with it I thought it looked good so I was getting all these bits of paper ready and trimmed up and I had a bit of a play with laying them out and how I thought it looked, um, which is what I'm doing now, sorting out the different colours. I don't want the colours next to each other, so sort of spreading out the, the, the colours that stood out the most, which I think for me was that green, that uh, mint colour. And I also want a mixture of the black and white and the pink effect as well. And I didn't want to leave any white space. I wanted them all touching. So or the vertical ones touching with vertical ones and the horizontal ones touching with horizontal ones. So I just had a play laying all that out and how I liked it to fit and which bits I wanted to overlap and all of that kind of thing. And how I'd put on sort of the shorter ones so that you could still see them and yeah, all of that. So just having a bit of a play there. And then when I was happy with the way that was looking, um, oh, I put the photo on top as well, I think, just to see the, how it all sort of worked out and what I thought of it. And then I think I decided something was missing. I liked the look of it, but it was a bit flat, I think, that it needed something to sort of jazz it up a little. So that's when I um, got out a bit of mixed media. So I pack up all of the strips but oh that's me deciding I think I like that green one going literally all the way across the page I think it looks cute so I pack up the strips and I keep the ones I had vertical and the ones I had horizontal separate because I liked the way they looked and they're ready to go mm. and this is the texture paste 
So I'm just sort of rubbing the texture paste on a little bit as if it was gesso because I have found that the texture paste does help to stop the page from warping if you don't use too much but that's not um, the point of what I'm doing with the texture paste here. I'm just adding a bit of um, dimension and white colour as well. Then I'm doing the packaging technique um, and I am using some different Heidi Shine colours. So giving that a shake up. Shake, 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 shake your heart shine, shake your heart shine. Uh, spraying that on. And as you can see, that's the coral one. And I'm just dribbling on a little bit of water just to um, make that a bit runnier and have a bit more um, movement, I guess, to the um, Heidi Shine. I don't always, but I just, I really wanted a really light color in the background. I didn't want it to be too intense. And so then again as well, I'm dabbing it up with the serviette just to get it sort of softens the look of the color because I really didn't want it to be too bright. Um, and now I've got a teal, I think. Yeah, a teal. And I didn't add any water this time. I wanted this one to sort of stand out a bit more, a little bit like the mint. If I had mint, I would have used that color, but this was the closest I had. And I knew I was going to quite dab it up a bit and try and um, lighten that color off and then a little bit more I sort of smushed both the colors together on this that's why it's a little bit of a brownier effect but I really liked the way it looked I didn't clean the plastic first off with the blue so I uh, let that dry let that go and I thought that looked kind of cool because I knew I was going to be covering it again with um, the strips anyway um, and so then I'm just double siding the ta double sided tape onto all the strips and I start by doing all in one way and then all in the other way and just double sided tape those on as best I can and I was really happy with the way uh, that turned out and as I said I don't like how it looks so much at the join I think it looked better before when I had it uh, weaved but because I was sticking the photo over the top anyway it doesn't really matter because you can't tell um, so I decided to pop the photo up give it a little bit of dimension with some pop dots I think I don't know what we call them um, foam figures <laughs> foam figures um, just to give it a little bit of something something these uh, foam it's quite skinny it doesn't really do a lot it gives it a tiny bit of dimension but nothing too extreme the square ones I have are a lot higher and they actually pop a lot more and they probably would have been better in this case but I didn't realize that until I'd stuck it down and went oh that's not very high but anyway still looks cute still adds a little bit of dimension to the layout there and then I think it's time to embellish and as I said I really didn't have many embellishments to go so I was quite determined to use as many of these as possible so I pretty much just splash them all on where I can put them where it fits I like surrounding the corners of the photos to sort of draw your eye down towards the photograph um, and yeah I was really happy Oh, I just realized in the middle of talking to you that actually this isn't the last one I do. The twinsies one is the last one I do. And that's when I just smash everything on because there's barely anything left. This one is the second last one I do with this kit. So I do still end up having a bit of leftover bits. That makes sense because I can just see still in the box there that it says together forever and I know I don't use that on this left layout because it's just me and I'm not together with anyone at this exact moment in time so yeah sorry about that these are not in the correct order it'll still be fun for you to watch I'm sure so yeah just popping these out and then so in which case this one took me a little bit longer but not much it was still pretty easy to do um, with the branding strip idea and then you can see all the scraps there that I've saved. Oh, and that's why the twinsies ones is like the picket fence. Oh my gosh, it all makes sense to me now. I'm sorry I haven't recorded these in order. That has made this voiceover become quite ridiculous. Hopefully you're not listening too closely. Just skip this part or turn the sound off for a minute. It's totally fine. So 
what am I up to now? Just embellishing, putting things on. As I said in my other video, I like to cut my double-sided tape down so that it's skinnier and I um, can make it go a little bit further. Uh, but I do find it, the scissors get gunky or the blades get gunky, so I do keep eucalyptus oil nearby just to clean the glades off, blades off and it smells nice especially in winter because it can help to clear the nose a little bit um what else can i tell you i love this collection this is mostly um love always by coco vanilla i do believe and this was the august kidaholics kit and it is pretty much one of my favorites so far. I do have a lot of kits that I haven't used yet, so it's highly likely that I'll have another favorite. But at this exact moment in time, I just love this kit. I, I think I did a lot of layouts with this kit. I ended up doing two Project Life spreads and I think about six layouts, and I only got the main kit. So I was really quite happy with how far I was able to make this kit go having said that I know some of the other girls can get heaps out of their kit heaps more than I did so you know it's whatever makes you happy though you feel like you get your money's worth and that's all that matters and yeah I was really happy with how much I got out of this kit sometimes I only get you know three or four layouts out of a kit because I just don't love it as much and I find it a bit harder to use and then I mix it in with my stash and find that I pull it out a lot more when it's in my stash because mixing it in and using some of my own supplies can make it easier to use. Um, I just find kits are so breezy though because you know already everything goes together and it'll look gorgeous when you put it together regardless because you know that it matches so that's nice. As I mean it's the same as buying a collection. I've never in the past bought a collection before because um, I've never spent all that much money all in one go when you buy a full collection and this way I feel like it's not the same when you get it in a kit I don't know why a good excuse to tell myself or my husband I think um, but now that I have been getting kits as well I really don't allow myself to buy much other supplies or many much other goodness bad English many other supplies because I find that I'm not even using up the monthly kits within that month. So I've obviously got plenty and I've got a, you know, as we all do, I've got a massive stash at home anyway. So I've still got enough supplies to just work with what I've got. So yeah, no, no more buying except for the kit. So now I'm just gluing on that wood veneer and I just use a normal sort of PVA glue and I just hold it down a little bit until it takes. Sometimes I decorate the wood veneers to give them a little bit of pizzazz and I thought about it with this one because the wooden colour, I didn't really tie the wooden colour in. Um, Katie's got a bunch of wooden wood veneer hearts that I think I probably should grab a couple of because I think that would just add to this and make this look really cute and sort of tie that wood veneer in. Um, I probably should have coloured it in some way to make it a bit more pink or a bit more pastel-y colours to sort of tie it in but I didn't but anyway and now adding on some diamantes I did also pop up the flower that is sitting over top of the end of the hashtag me time just to make sure that it um, fitted right over the top of the wood veneer because they are quite thick and I love putting on my diamantes in little clusters of three I'm a bit obsessed with that whenever I try to not do clusters I always go back and end up making clusters so obviously it's something I think is more pleasing to my eye everyone's a bit different but obviously that's how I like it and then I'm putting little diamantes inside the flowers to give little um I don't know there's there's what's it called this stamen uh, a little bit of pop and then I'm just going a bit mad with the diamantes. I love diamantes. Put them on everywhere. And I'm just about done, I think. Yeah. Have I done enough? Come on. How many more do I want? Yeah, I'm done. And I'm going to show you some close-ups of the finished piece. I didn't put a title on this one because the hashtag me time 
was title enough, I think. It's quite funny that my mobile phone is rose gold so that it matches in with <laughs> the colours. Clearly I did that on purpose. Um, hopefully you guys liked the layout and please stay tuned for more. Katie and I will have more coming shortly. So thanks guys and we will see you next time. Bye.